Hello, beauty fans. It's Melissa Schroeder with BehindTheBoxBlog.com. Today we are going to be talking about nails. I'm going to do a quick review on three products I have recently tried. First off, I've got this nail polish. This is a new brand to me. It's called LVX, and this is in mint. That's what the product looks like. Right now, I'm going to show you a photo of what one coat of this nail polish looks like on my nails. And I think it's a really pretty color. And then after that, I decided to put on a coat of Julep. This is Lucky It Girl. And I'm going to go ahead and show you another photo here of what that looked like on my nails over the LVX. I just thought it was a really pretty, fun, spring-like color. And then after that all dried, I put on a layer of Julep Oxygen Performance Top Coat, and that's what that container looks like. So what I want to do now is show you what this nail polish looked like on my left hand five days after I applied it. I want to point out that my left hand is not my dominant hand, so naturally it's going to look a little better. But just showing you a photo of what that looks like. Five days later, I had no chipping, no peeling. I thought it looked really, really good. Now. I do want to let you all know on my right hand, I did have a bit of chipping and I had to reapply the nail polish, I would say four or five days in. Now we're eight days in and this, can you guys see that? That's what my nail polish looks like now. I mean, I think it had pretty good staying powder, power, excuse me. When I look at it close, I can see a little bit of peeling and chipping, but for the most part, I thought this nail polish did a really great job. I liked the colors. I liked the way it was applied. Um, I really liked this Oxygen Performance top coat. It went on nice and smooth. Sometimes you can get those top coats and they're a little bumpy and they kind of mess your nail polish up. But this one, I loved it. It dried quickly and I think it helped to prevent some chipping and peeling. If you would like to learn more about these products or more about who I am, just go to my website at BehindTheBoxBlog.com.